Assalamu alaikum guys. Hi everyone. My name is Syed Shahul Ayan. I am a first year, I'm sorry, second year PPT student in Narayana Rudalia Institute of Physiotherapy, Bangalore. Okay, and yeah, something focusing ka kuch to problem hai minute. Yeah, and if you're following me uh, regularly, <coughs> yeah, you might notice that I'm not regular. I'm sorry. I had to study, I guess, and also some other thing. Yeah. So today I'm gonna be uh, giving you tips. No, I'm gonna show you how I study anatomy, and if that is helpful, you might follow my schedule. And it's not a schedule; it's just a pattern of how I study anatomy because. Studying these books is not easy. Yeah, you need a imagination for that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to study anatomy. So let's move on. So first thing, uh, see, I'm not gonna. Oh, give me a minute. So I'm not gonna be giving you, you know, step wise. I mean, of course, I'm gonna be giving you tips step wise. Why am I contradicting? I'll try explaining as much as I can of how I study and how easily you can study anatomy. Uh, so first thing. First thing you need to imagine your human body, okay? And please, please, if your college has a dead body, take interest in that dead body. Yes, please take interest in the dead body, and you know it. It helps to you know imagine a dead body while studying, and if you are imagining a dead body while sleeping, you don't need to get yourself. Okay, so that is there. So first thing, imagination. Imagine the human body. Okay, while you're studying. So as you know, as you know, these are sectioned into the body. So first one is upper limb and thorax. So you will have to imagine your upper limbs, these two, and the thorax region. So this, you will have to imagine that and study. So if someone, if they say humerus bone, so this is humerus bone, say radius ulna. So you should imagine those things onto your own body, okay? And if you want, you can go full Kabir Singh and start drawing on it, okay? I did that in my starting days. It was fun, okay? Too much interest. I took that day. Yeah. Now also I take interest in that. So. That is what I'm saying. Imagine upper limb, thorax. You have to imagine lower limb, abdomen, and pelvis. You should imagine your own body, head and neck. Of course, head, neck, and brain. Okay, if you understand head and neck, and then you'll have some idea on how to study brain neuroanatomy. Okay, so first one, as I said, imagination. Okay, you should imagine the things you study. And apply it on your own body. Okay, imagine where the carotid is going, the jugular is going. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing, <coughs> make notes. So I followed this make notes, uh, you know, funda, and it kind of helped me. If of course it will help you. So like you can so. I'm giving you an example of this is the uh, topic of breast or mammary gland. Okay, so as you can see, this is the. This is this. Okay, and so I made notes like this. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you can make notes. Can what you should make notes as much as possible. This is for studying anatomy. This is important. You should write stuff down 
on a book from there you will grasp it on your brain easily like they said in you know <coughs> the lower classes like always this you know so cranial nerves you see i've marked cranial nerves so it goes from like nuclei then yeah yeah da. goes on first second third fourth okay so take interest in making notes also the more notes you make the more it will help in the end days okay so i'll show you one of the stuff so where is the brachial plexus so this is the brachial plexus i'm proud of this okay i didn't make this okay i got it from youtube channel so if you haven't seen that youtube channel you can see this youtube channel ha ah. <laughs> but yeah it helps a lot okay so brachial plexus i learned it so easily with this diagram so make diagrams you can feel free feel free to go search diagrams on the internet if you have much creativity mind please make your own diagrams make your own stuff flow charts okay you don't have to shy away from you know copying notes from the from the web because eventually you have to study that also so if you make your own well and good if you don't please go on the web please go to your teachers which you rarely guys do so that's why you are here <laughs> so you guys go on the net you search for the notes you will get it pretty neat notes you will get okay this tips are for you know the normal anatomy students now for physiotherapy students you will have especially karnataka students rghs syllabus they'll give and if you have that syllabus you can you can you know study anatomy properly okay so they they have you know described as uh, musculoskeletal anatomy and then lower extremity trunk pelvis in that kya padhna hai kya nahi padhna hai what to be excluded little little here and there they've cut down the syllabus so that you can follow that is very helpful if you are from karnataka if you are not from karnataka and if you are from different states uh, parts of india you can go on to your university website whichever university you are i think you which you come under from there you can you know search up the syllabus and do it it's pretty simple that is what you need for anatomy imagination make notes and you know imagine and apply it to yourself and keep the syllabus in handy okay and also if you're starting your first year and you have anatomy please please concentrate on the online and the offline classes and make notes whatever the teacher gives please whatever the teacher says just jot down even if it is wrong even if you are misheard just jot it down okay and make the notes this was my teacher's notes or you know class notes or lecture notes whatever so whatever ma'am said each class we used to write down nicely okay and then the next day we used to open <clears throat> we don't know whatever it is but then once we go through it and then we you know start uh, what do you say comparing it with the topic then it makes sense so please <laughs> concentrate i know mute pe rakhe online classes pe you will be scrolling through instagram or youtube or you might be snapping someone on snapchat but it's fine okay please concentrate and note down it is hardly 40 minutes they'll take 40 45 minutes okay so do that and also i had a book for bones okay so i used to write bones and i used to make bones notes and i am not sure if okay this was my mandible mandible only no of course man this was my mandible bone wait yeah now it's correct so make notes like this it'll be good okay osteology you have to concentrate because osteology is important 
you will have to learn about the bones, each and every bone of the body. Since you are a physiotherapy student, you need to learn the muscle attachments and the ins muscle attachments with origin and insertions and the actions of the muscles. So anatomy, if you learn, concentrate on the muscles, concentrate on the nerve uh, supply, of, on the blood supply, on the innervation and also the action of the muscle. And if you see most of the attachments are on the bones. So if you learn osteology, you will automatically start getting the origin and insertions of the muscles. And if you have the origin and insertion of the muscles, you will know the actions of the muscles. And if you know the actions of the muscles, you will not know the nerve supply. You should learn the by a nerve supply. Ah, chumma, everything will not come. Okay, you should learn. Okay, so this was my... <coughs> this was my tips and tricks for anatomy and this was more of a talk talk session and not of a show show thing session kya hi anatomy if you are seeing of course you know what anatomy book looks like okay inside the book and i've marked some stuff so i'll show you the first edition things so yeah it looks new it doesn't it isn't new, but yeah, it looks new. Under kuch hai nahi. Under if you if you have seen this video, you already know that I refer BD Chaurasia, and of course you will be referring BD Chaurasia or IB Singh or Vishram Singh. So yeah, all the best for your exams. All the best for your future. All the best in for studying anatomy because anatomy is you know a tough subject to crack. Once you learn, you know, how to, you know, ease through anatomy, anatomy will be very good. It will be your favorite subject in no time. So, yeah. That's it, I guess. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, I'll try to be regular and we are hitting 1000 subscribers. Uh, now it is, I don't know what it is, now 962 subscribers, we are at 962 subscribers, I guess. So, Jaldi will hit 1000 subscribers and that time there will be a vlog coming out, how I celebrated my 1000 subscribers, which will be in college, because college is starting from 1st February onwards and yeah, that's life. So, till then... Uh, till the next video or till the next vlog or till I hit thousand subscribers keep watching Shahalayan vlogs until then bye bye